Hey guys, welcome back to our market update. We're going to be doing these once a month. This is our January market update, um, but we will be going off of the data of December or the month previous of the dates we do our updates, um, just so that we have all of the raw, real numbers for you guys. Absolutely. So I'm Holly Haven. I'm Andy Haven. And we are the Haven Home Team. So when we give you guys market updates, we are going to start with Dallas, and then we're going to move north to some of the smaller suburbs, Frisco, Prosper, and then Salina, so that you can kind of have a big picture of what's happening in Collin County and Dallas County. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, we're going to start with Dallas. So the list price average in Dallas, basically in December, right, was $502,846,000. That is a down a little bit from the month prior, but still a really good uh, price considering Dallas is a very large city. Yeah, um, we're looking at sales price to list price ratio here. This is 98.6%. Um, as you know, during the COVID months, we were at over 100%. So we are settling back into a more normal market, but 98.6% is great. Um, it is actually up from the month of November 2022. So looking good there. Yeah, and you mentioned that, um, you know, being over 100%, we were as high as 115 to 120% in certain cases through the COVID months. So guys, 98.6, we went from driving 100 miles an hour to driving 75 miles an hour. We're still speeding. Don't worry. We've got it. Mm -hmm. um, days to sell. So days on the market in Dallas was an average of 39 days. That is up a little bit from November, but that is still a really low days on the market. Uh, we call a stable market six months. So if a listing were to sit on the market for six months before it actually sold, that would be considered a stable market. That is not a market we are used to in North Texas. So 39 days on the market, still great, right? Almost a month. So not bad at all. Also in the entire city of Dallas, we are looking at a number of new listings at 293 new listings. That is a lot of new listings, but in Dallas, that is a very, very small portion. So obviously the um, inventory is getting lower. It's getting smaller. Um, still some great options out there at 300 though. Yeah, better than we were during COVID months, but 293 is a very low number. So guys, start looking. We're going to see those numbers continue to go up. We're in the winter months right now. So we're looking at holidays and winter and people kind of slow down when they're not um, in immediate need. So these numbers are not scary at all. Is the market crashing? The market's crashing. Oh, it's, it's not, not crashing. <laughs> it's not crashing. We're going to be fine. What about Frisco, Andy? Uh, Frisco's average list price is seven hundred ninety-three thousand dollars. Two hundred and ninety-three. No. <laughs> yeah, you're close. So, I'm so good at math. <laughs> seven hundred ninety-eight thousand two hundred and ninety-three dollars. So yeah. that is down, but that is very, very high. Um, that's considered luxury, right? Absolutely. <laughs> we we call well. We used to call seven fifty and over luxury in our market. Since COVID, we call a million dollars in plus luxury in our market. So that gives you a little bit of an indication of what we're looking at and how those prices did adjust um, over the last two years. So to say that average list price is down a little bit, again, guys, speeding, right? Still speeding. Don't worry. <laughs> um, let's see the, the list price to sell or sell price to list price ratio. This means if you listed your price at 500000 it sold at 97.6% of that list price, right? So it didn't sell for the full list price. A little bit below, so that number's down just a little bit from November. Still a great, um, great average. So the days to sell, this is going to be our average days on market to sell the property. It's at 66. We're looking at two months on the market. Um, that's up, but it's not bad. Um, six months is typically when we start getting a little bit weary of the market. Two months is nothing. Yeah, so we're still considered in a seller's market at 66 days on the market. This is this is still a really strong market. Number of new listings in all of Frisco was only 59 new listings in the month of December. That number's down a little bit. Again, it's to be expected. Winter months, holidays, everything slows down a little bit in our more stable standard market. And that's what we feel like we're back to um, post-COVID. Yeah, for sure. Um, moving on to Prosper. The average list price in the city of Prosper is 847000 Four hundred and ninety-four dollars. Um, this number is low. Um, it's, it's, it's down. It's down. It's not low. It's <laughs> lowering. Um, it did used to be over a million dollars. So we are definitely seeing some price decreases, but nothing to be worried about. Yeah. And before you get nasty comments, um, guys, don't do it yet. She meant town of Prosper. She would never call it a city. Oh, that's my bad. Sorry. I I am from Prosper, so that's she would my never bad. call it a city. I promise. It's a town. <laughs> that sales price to list price ratio ninety-seven point three percent. Still good, guys. All across the board, we're seeing a consistent trend here. Average days on market in Prosper is 88 days. So we are sitting a little bit longer, but there is very little inventory. So 
what's left out there is what you got. Yeah, number of new listings is at 27, which is down. That's a very low number of new listings. And let's talk a little bit about that days on the market. Um, why are we seeing that in areas like Prosper and then when we're going to talk about Salina here in a minute? Yeah, so the issue with that is that a lot of builders are posting their stuff months in advance. Um, so those are racking up days on market. Some of those have over 200 days on the market. Yep. It's kind of skewing our days on market average. Um, and in Prosper and Salina, you'll definitely see that because we have a lot more new builds in the area. Absolutely. Guys, if you want to know what it looks like for a pre-existing home, you're considering selling, you really want that number that matches your property, drop us a comment, shoot us an email, text us, right? Reach out to us. We'll get you some data that fits perfectly for you. No hassle, no worries, but we'll get you the information you need. We want to be a resource for you. Uh, city of Salina, town of Salina. What are we calling it these nope, days? No, that one's city. <laughs> Only city Prosper. of Salina. Only prospers the town. <laughs> All right, so the average list price in the city of Salina is 685655 This is down, um, but for the city of Salina, this is actually amazing. Shows the city's growing. I know some people are scared, uh, yeah. but the city of Salina mm -hmm. is growing. We're seeing good numbers for current homeowners and buyers. Yeah, the good news for the existing homeowners in Salina. Guys, this raises your property values as well. We know that it affects your taxes. We've heard some of the concerns. Reach out to us. Let us help alleviate some of those concerns because higher property values are always good, especially when it's time for you to make a move and you want to capture that equity. So that's a really nice list price average. Um, sales price to list price ratio, again, 96.8%, down a little bit from November, but we're right in line with everybody else. Yeah, days to sell on average is at 68. It is up, but like we said before, this is around two months. This isn't bad at all. And new construction um, numbers that are new construction. messing us up a little. Yeah, and just low inventory in general. Yeah, and only 37 new listings in Salina in the month of December. Yeah. So the, the kind of long and short of it is, guys, the sky's not falling. We're doing okay. We are back to, really, we compare what's happening right now to 2019. Yep. We're not talking about 2020, 2021, or 2022. Those years were absolute anomalies. We know this across the nation, right? Across the world in some cases. So we are really going back and saying, how do we compare to 2019? And these numbers are exceptional compared to 2019. So no fear, no worries. We're gonna make sure you guys get this data every single month so that you feel really confident what, what's happening. You're getting it in real time. And if you ever have a question about what's happening today, you don't want to wait till the month, uh, month end for us to come back and give you more data. Reach out to us. Um, we have a little link at the bottom where you can actually register and request this information. It drops in your inbox once a week. Super easy and it is very analyzed data. So it's going to be super helpful. Yeah. And if you have any specific questions for us that doesn't have to deal with data, um, you can always go on our social medias. We do have our emails on our social media. You can DM us, send us a text, whatever, if you have our number. Um, that's our market update for the month of January, December. Yeah. <laughs> we'll yeah. be back next month, um, probably at the beginning of the month. Yep. Yeah. See you guys early February. Bye, guys.